A Knoxville restaurant scored a failing health inspection grade. Here's Don Dare with what you need to know before you head out to eat out this weekend. Take a look. The popular kitchen is at the historic Regus Square in Knoxville. Over a dozen violations were checked off during the inspection. The grade is a 64 Marble City Market kitchen on West Depot in Knoxville. That 64 is a failing score. Any grade below 70 is considered failing. There's been a follow-up inspection, and we'll have that score in just a moment. To begin with, food temperatures were off. Cooked collard greens were at 62 and 53 degrees and had been left in large plastic containers. That's way out of temperature. 41 and below is the safe cool temperature to kill bacteria. 135 and above is the safe hot temperature. The greens were thrown away. When the inspector checked the preparation date of ricotta sauce, it had exceeded seven days, and as a result, it was out of date. There's more. Clean utensils were found stored in a dirty container. At the kitchen's three compartment sink, where pots and pans are washed, cleaned, and sanitized, no sanitizer was being used. Finally, the inspector writes, due to multiple priority violations, the staff lacked food safety knowledge, and he did some on-the-spot training. Now, the Marble City Market Kitchen has been reinspected. All of the original critical violations were corrected, and the new grade is a 93. No follow up inspections are needed at the top scoring restaurants, and here are the best grades of the week. In West Knoxville, the Chef's Table on Executive Park Drive, 100. Same grade, 100 for Sam and Andy's on West Adair in Knoxville. The Merchants of Beer in South Central in Knoxville also scores 100. In East Knoxville, Last Days of Autumn Brewing on East Magnolia, 100. The Lunch House on Holston Drive in Knoxville, perfect. In Gatlinburg, the Morning Mist Cafe on Glades Road scores 100. The Maple Creek Bistro in Kingston receives a 99. And Hannah's Lakeshore Cafe on Cherokee Lake on Lakeshore Drive in Granger County scores a 97. You can view health inspection reports at the restaurant. They're supposed to be posted in areas where you can find them and read them. Don Dare covering Food for Thought. Don, thank you. And if you would like to look over all of this week's health inspection scores for yourself, we've made it very easy for you to do that. All you have to do, just look under the news tab at WATE.com.